Well, thank you again for taking time for devotion. Uh, may you be blessed to, to hear from God's word and enter into the paradox of, of how God is at work in us, uh, even in ways we, we are surprised at, are surprised at anyway. I said I'll, I'll get to some of the things on, on my bookshelf here in one, one book that uh, surprised me. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was or hoped it would be, but the title is Anyway, uh, The Paradoxical Commandments. And uh, such as, if you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Well, one that's appropriate for today People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help them anyway. Today, if you weren't aware, is International Nurses Day, Tuesday, May 12th. When you think about nurses, what comes to mind? Well, I hope it's not shots and and. You know, lots of things that nurses do that, that can make us uncomfortable. But for me, she or he is a person who has studied health and disease, who knows both by that learning and by experience the signs of illness and health. She uses that knowledge to encourage healing. A nurse is one who listens, who asks questions to get to the cause of the pain or discomfort and it's also considerate of our emotional state. Nurses work in concert with doctors and other care providers to diagnose and provide for healing. Their focus is honestly on you, the patient, and helping the doctor to help you. If anyone gets the glory, it's the doctor. The nurse just tees it up for them. Perhaps this is why we admire them. They're all about helping us and others, whether they're aware of it or not. They reflect God's law, which is written on our hearts. Love and value others as you love and value yourself. We all have extraordinary hope when with this law that's written on our hearts, we have the knowledge of God's loving and valuing us, even so much as to forgive us when we have messed up. God's loving, loving and valuing not only me, but all of his children. Many children grow up wanting to become a nurse or a teacher. To me, this is evidence that our Creator made us to want to love others and empowers us with his love to do so, even when there's no or little reward in it. Rather, there is at work a divine nature everyone needs, yet those whose trust is in the world may well have given up on. Which brings me to today's passage. It's kind of a paradoxical passage, so listen carefully, and still it may leave you a little unsettled. It's from a section of Luke's Gospel titled, Teachings About Forgiveness and Faith. The 17th chapter of Luke's Gospel, verse 7. Jesus said, when a servant comes in from plowing or taking care of sheep, he doesn't just sit down and eat. He must first prepare his master's meal and serve him his supper before eating his own. And the servant is not even thanked because he is merely doing what he is supposed to do. In the same way, when you obey me, you should say, we are not worthy of praise. We are servants who have simply done our duty. We have simply done our duty. 
doesn't that fit a nurse to some degree? They know what their duty is. And without complaining, they, they do that. They ask those questions which are uncomfortable for them as much as us sometimes. This passage sounds contrary to our sense of justice, though. How often do you thank a nurse? Thought about that? So when might this paradox of service in thinking of oneself as, as just doing my duty, when might that be appropriate or acceptable? Perhaps only when the work that we are doing serves the one who gives us and renews our lives without our earning or deserving it. When you personally know how great God's love is for you, whether you receive the recognition you deserve or not, you will find that you have and will continue to help others in their time of need. You're applying your knowledge, your skills, your labor to encourage health in others, health and well-being, protect the precious life that God has given them. And when this time of, of a invisible virus, we wash our hands regularly. We are careful about touching surfaces and then perhaps needing to wash our hands again or sanitize that surface, door handles and the like. I might even wear a face mask to protect others from what we might breathe out as well as ourselves from what we might breathe in, not knowing if we're symptomatic or not. But Lord, protect us from the virus. Keep us safe and may it pass by and never return. Amen. I thank God for the folks who decided that we should have an International Nurses Day, a day of recognition for nurses all across the globe, people who speak languages we don't understand, yet are engaged in that same caring for others that we have known through nurses. We have Go to nurses, see them in times of discomfort. But we go for healing, of body, heart, in person, believing that there is hope, hope for healing and wholeness. Let's pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for those people specially gifted to be nurses. We're grateful that with people across the globe, we recognize nurses and the, the special work that you do through their lives. And we also acknowledge how often they're taken for granted and just expected to do what they are supposed to do. But you've helped to give them knowledge and understanding. But most of all, you work in them as you also work in us, a compassion and a caring for others. So Lord, this work that you do in us will help us to get through this time of trial and uncertainty. May we trust in you and practice the wise cautions, precautions to care for one another. Lord, we thank you that you are God and that you work in us. May we help you to do your best work in this time. Amen.